Getting the transcript after an AI voice agent call is super easy and we can apply any custom logic that we want. For example, if, we want, if you want to get some information such as emails, phones, if it is a good lead or not, and even update the database, update your CRM data, is possible using VAPI and 8NN. But all of them is possible on web AI voice agent cast just using the ASD key from VAPI. But also apply for another provider such as uh, 11 Lab, but in this case, we are going to use VAPI as a provider. The ASD key for WET provide to us a couple events in real time. For example, we can see on real time the transcripts and when also there is another event when the call finish or the call end and after that we are going to send all the transcription to our custom implementation on 8N using a webhook. But here it's up to you what you want to apply. But here I apply a super easy algorithm but important one just to make easier the stuff to the LLMs. Let's do a quickly demo to how this work together. Let's start a call. Vario, this is Ember. Would you like a 30 second overview or should I start with your top question? Yeah, you can give me the overview quickly. Of course. Agent Cover EO is a voice agent that answers calls on your number, scales to handle spikes so no calls are missed, runs outbound campaigns, I and have captures a structured data from conversations. It can I, translate I scripts, qualify leads, schedule appointments, and sync results to your CIRF. Cool. We end the call. And now let's say, let's see the execution. Let's see the last execution and we are going to see how was how was it yeah exactly what we have here cool as i told you you can apply any custom logic that you want based on the transcript in the end of this video i'm going to teach you another i'm going to, I'm going to tell you another approaches how you can achieve exactly the same and we are going to compare those different approaches and also i'm going to tell you some legal stuff that you have to keep in mind when you are developing ai voice agents if you don't know about me i am simon aldana i am ai agent mentor and also i have my own platform to create voice agents to people that is not technical enough but also the people that only want to focus on the businesses and analyze data in the calls but start to talk about this and just start to work together on how we are going to create this stuff. We have two pre-requirements. You will need an account on VAPI and also on NNN. VAPI, you can create your account and this provide to you a super good lawyer, a free lawyer just to test. Um, and AM also provide a free lawyer is not so generous to be honest, but I can leave to you a special uh, link with a special discount on the comment. Well, now where you, when you already have your account and you are on the dashboard, you can, the first step you have to do is create assistant. The assistant will be an agent, right? Just click here and we are going to create an assistant in this point. In this point. What you are going to do is assign a name, you to lead test. And um, well, there are a couple quick start of templates or just want to blank template. Let's click on blank template and that's it. We have the assistant, right? Here in the assistant, what you can do is you have a couple setups such as model, voices, transcript, tools, analytics, advanced and widget, for example. A model, in this case, I'm going to leave all this as a default, but just to show you the model is the model and the provider that we want to use. Also, uh, the first message, you can define the who speak first, the assistant or the user. And what will be the first message? Also, you, this, you will 
define what is the system prompt and this is the instructions where you told to the agents what will be the behavior, the tone, the personality, the goals and, and how achieve these goals. And the rest we are going to leave as a default for sure. Voices and you can decide what will be the voice provided. Could be Puppy as a default, but also in my case I will I really like set up a level lab as a voice provider. But that increase a little bit the price. It's something to keep in mind as well. Well, super cool. We have here the system, right? And um, what we are going to do is analyze the ASD key. How is the ASD key? Here in BAPI documentation a, a website, we have web calls, right? And web calls device on two client sites and server sites. In this case, we are going to focus on client sites. And we have here the web ASD key, and also we have the React ASD key as well. But here I would like to spend some time reviewing that I told you. BAPI provides to us a couple events. Let's say when the call start, we can fire action. When the, um, the call end, we can fire another action. And in the real time, we can get the transcript using this event. This is an example using just JavaScript, but also we have a here example using React. Uh, as I told you, let's, even we have the speech end, we can fire action in this point. Cool. But I already prepared a template or vendor for you, what you can download it. This is the URL, right? You have to just download it and follow the instructions, the structure. Um, we are going to work, work with this just to save time in the configuration and the stuff. And now I'm going to teach you where you get some keys that are so necessary. First of all, let's start with the assistant ID. When you open any assistant, for example, this guy, you will get here the ID on the URL. And also you have here the, the assistant ID. After that, we are going to need another API keys. And here in the section API keys, Always remember you have to search API keys because those layouts change so much. But well, here we have the public API keys. That is exactly what we are going to need. The public API key that is for clients because the private API keys is when you want to use uh, in the server. Just let's say to make call to numbers, to phone numbers and stuff. Well, here you have the another one. And another one is not necessary for this example. But just to show you, could it be in the future, is the phone number ID. And also is here in the section related with the phone numbers. Click on any phone numbers and get in the URL the ID. After you downloaded the GitHub repository or clone it, the first step that you have to keep in mind is take a look at the end example. Because I already told you where you can go, where you can get those values. The API key is the API key provided here in the dashboard. Just copy here and paste. The assistant ID is the ID on your assistant. Click on the assistant and the URL. And the same with the number, but number is not necessary here. Another guy necessary will be this end8n worth uh, webhook URL. And this will provide it in the webhook. In the webhook, on end and end, you have different URL, the test URL and production URL. In this case, you need a production URL, just copy and that's it. Of course, you have to enable act or activate the end and end workflow. The next step you have to do is you have to run this command npm e or a as install. After that, you have to create your end dot end um, file and after create your end file, just run npm run dev. And after run this command, your server will run in with the front end. You will get something like this. Now we are going to test the integration. And after that, I'm going to explain how, what, how is the magic there on N8N. Just started, call the agent. Bavario, this is Ember. Would you like a 30 second overview or should I start with your top question? Yeah, the top question would be great. Sure. What is your role in the company and what priority are you focusing on? Cool. We finished our 
our call and now let's see the executions just to see here cool beautiful it's running it's still running but the execution is running that's mean the server the website send the transcript to our end and it stands if we click on here we have the body and the transcript all the transcript provided here cool how create this is is pretty easy don't worry about this automation you will get on the repository but basically you have to create a wet hood your a wet hood node click here and create it i already have one and i did a special algorithm to just make stuff easier to llms here they all log it I, I i don't want to spend time here but i would like to spend time explaining the high level what the algorithm the, does and here i have example though this is the way that the transcript are provided by the Bappy server right what i really want to do is create a group of transcript based on let's say i have assistants assistant 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 i'm gonna group all those transcripts and only one and i'm going to create a, a string we are going to create groups based on that let's say we are going to create a group of the assistant text we are going to remove the duplicate stuff for example we are going to remove this we have indifference it's not removed we are going to join only in one and after that we are going to join the user as well it will be a string and will be something like assistant assistant text 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 and after that we are going to have something like this and user and start the user stuff text 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 right this way will be easier to the llms because we are going to provide a pretty a really clean up string stand stand up a completely large json because keep in mind this json could be super longer based on the conversation could be one 500 elements and it doesn't make sense send that for the LLM. After that, here is up to you what you want to do. For example, let's let's do a this execution. The some data that I have on my on my cache. Basically, I, I pin this data, and I just want to classify based on the leads. We can see here. Uh, I am saying that you are a. Uh, a lead classifier and we have three categories and I'm going to provide the transcript here right and the three categories are user interesting just asking and ready to push up. but also for example in my case I would like to evaluate how has been the performance on the agent and that's the this model does I just it's just a prompt to 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 create differences uh, Create differences categories and provide the feedback and the status based on the status will be error if the performance was, was not well warning is something to improve also said even i can store this in the databases or maybe on a google sheet is, is necessary and based on the leads i can create different paths and different processes as i told you we have different approaches to achieve the same goal because here BAPI provides to us transcripts, right? Even we can change the transcript provider and we are going to see differences between the transcript itself. For example, if I change here and let's... I would like to test, but I think it's this guy. Leave anyway. And let's say um, the transcript, right? We are going to change the transcript and we are going to use OpenAI as a transcript. Transcriber, sorry. Um, view changes. I'm gonna save that. It's done. It just click on here to test, and just wait a little bit. Caverio, this is Ember. Would you like a 30 second overview, or should I start with your top question? Yeah, the top question would be great. Sure. What would you like to know about Agent Caverio? As you can see, the transcript are different. Those, in this case, OpenAI group the transcript itself and the previous one create, it was more in real time but i would like to show you that we can even 
add some stuff to summarize here on, on BAPI. We can set up in data structure data and this will be something running in real time and we can say that detect names and detect names, emails and phone numbers, right? And it will run in, it will be running on real time. But what will be the differences between the, this approach and the or custom approach? The difference is that we want to do anything what we want. Any logic, uh, we can store in the database, we can store in the CRM, we can analyze the data. The logic is up to you. That is super important and powerful approach. Legal stuff here related with AI voice agents. The privacy is super important nowadays. And if you want to share the transcript, if you want to store the transcript, you have to let the user know that you will, you will do it. For example, if you are running a phone campaign, you have to let the user know in the middle of the call. If you want to do it in the website, you have to maybe let the user know with a label or mention in the middle of the call. But also that is depend on the regulation where the AI voice agent will be implemented. That's that's mean that you have to take a look and make changes based on the regulation, let's say in the United States, Australia or Europe. If you want if you want these kind of videos and you want to help me to keep pushing and create these kind of videos for the community, subscribe this channel and click on link on like because that helps me so much.